All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we have fig trees for sale that are listed on FigBid right now. In the description of the video, you'll find the link to my storefront on FigBid. And I'm not the owner of FigBid, I just have my listings there. It's a great place for those of you guys who don't know that come together of fig growers to sell their fig trees. And so I have my listings there and these are some that I have listed. We had um, a couple frosts came in quite recently. And so a lot of the trees now of what was left on these air layers that I removed, the leaves are now gone. And so these are on their way to dormancy, I would say. Um, and they would make a great addition for anybody trying to, um, you know, add a fig to their collection late in the season. Some of them are obviously larger than others. I'm going to have to clip the size, I think at about 30 inches. But these are air layers, guys, that I took off six months ago. And so they're nice. Um, they have good root systems. They've actually been acclimating themselves in this container for a while. Um, and so they've probably already rooted themselves out pretty well in here. I imagine some may even have some roots on the bottom. And so they were in the sandwich bags with the sandwich bag method that we talked about. Six weeks or so later, they've been kind of slowly acclimating themselves in here. And now I would say they're, they're pretty strongly rooted trees. Um, obviously they don't have any leaves. And so I think some people in like California or places with a, a longer season than myself, you know, we're wrapping it up here. So people in, in the Northeast, I don't think you need the leaves personally. At this point of the year, I'm gonna be selling bare rooted trees soon. A lot of the trees are gonna be dormant if I'm gonna sell any trees. And so for us, it's almost, you know, at this point, a wash. If you got leaves, you don't have leaves. What you really want is just to get them dormant. And so getting them ready for dormancy and having them actually exposed outside to a couple more frosts, we probably need to see here something around 25 or even 20 before I would put these away. They're lignified pretty good. Um, and then very simply, we'll just mulch the top of the pots and we'll water them in before we put them away in winter storage. In the spring, we'll give them some food, we'll up pot them or put them in the ground and they're ready to go. They're, they'll be really nice trees come spring. And then uh, for those of you guys in warmer climates, the thought process I have for you is that, well, you know what? You probably want a tree with leaves. And for that reason, because you have a longer season, you wanna make sure that you have as much photosynthesis going into the next couple months so you can get your tree somewhat established between now and maybe let's say December or January. And so I would personally, being someone buying a tree in those places, rather have leaves, but uh, these trees are not dormant just yet. And so you can definitely get them to grow rather quickly. Um, it's just too cold here right now for anything to grow. So if you put this, if I were to have this, let's say in a greenhouse, or if I were to put this in a, a warmer place, th they will resume growth within probably about a week or two. And so when they start resuming growth, you might be surprised actually how much growth they'll put out in a very short amount of time. And so that way you can get them established over the next couple months in a container, whether you decide to plant them in the ground, it's up to you. Um, I think they will be great additions. And some of these are, cheaper than others. Uh, we got some Campaneri, which are gonna be probably a bit more expensive. I got some Long de Oot, which by the way, is an incredible fig this season. We got some LSU Champagne, definitely one of the most reliable honey figs. I got Negra de Agde. I got a, a uh, let's see here, some Daloso. We got some LSU Huye. These are really good varieties. I got some Smith, some uh, Nero 600M, which is uh, Villette de Bordeaux more LDA. Here's a Bar Malone, which turned out to be really one of my best figs. I'm not kidding. It's so, so good. I love the texture. I love the flavor. It's definitely one of the best honey figs that I think a lot of people should try. It's very different than other varieties. Um, and so if you're looking for something different, that's a good one. We're going to have um, some others. We have got Golden Rainbow. It's a really good one for people in drier places longer climates. It does ripen early though. There's Noir de Barbantane. We're going to have a couple more actually. Probably this is about 30 or so that's listed now. I may have another 20 or so in this size. 
over the next couple weeks. And then after that sale is over, um, I'm gonna start listing probably some trees that are bare rooted or in a five gallon size pot. And so the five gallon size trees, they won't um, be of these varieties. They're typically other varieties. These are air layers from trees I have in the ground. And so they are um, just a whole different thing because most of the trees I have in containers that I'll be bare rooting, I don't have them in the ground. And so it'll be pretty rare, I think, to have uh, the same varieties for both. So if you're hoping for a larger size of some of these varieties, it's just not gonna happen. Um, it's whatever this is here in this size is what you get. Whatever isn't sold, I'll sell in the spring with leaves on it. And so then uh, whatever you guys decide to do, I'm sure everybody will be happy. And so I thank you guys here for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Check out our blog as well. If uh, you're not buying a tree, at least go on the blog and check out uh, some of the information we have there, figboss.com. There's so much information. We've made so many changes. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.